Do you want your child to perform far better in his or her next examination? If you answer yes, then you need to watch this video to the end. When I was a young boy, we didn't have everything we wanted. But my parents taught me the importance of real determination, which is all that I needed. Only by looking back did I realize just how much others had given so selflessly for me to reach these heights. So I set about repaying their great acts of kindness, which is why today is a day I will always remember. For I now understand that for future generations to have the best chance in life, it depends not on how much you have, but on how much you are willing to give. Peak, it's in you. Hi, my name is Biodun or Mosako, and in this short presentation, I want to show you how you can help your child to excel in his or her next examination. First, I want you to know that this video is not for every parent. This video is only for parents who are genuinely interested in the success of their children. The truth is that behind every successful child, there is a mother or a father or a teacher. No child succeeds in learning without the backing of an adult. For every great story of academic achievement, there is someone who stands solidly behind the child. For Samantha in Mafidon, a girl that wrote, passed, and even set a world record when she passed Cambridge University Mathematics examination when she was barely nine years of age. It was her father that stood solidly behind her. For Esther Okade, who made it to the university at the age of 10, it was her mother that stood by her. As a matter of fact, the mother resigned her lecturing work to groom a daughter for extraordinary achievement. For Tululokwe Falokun, a secondary school girl that made 9A1 in a WAEC examination, it was a teacher that stood behind her. So, if you want your child to succeed in his next examination, you must be prepared to be there for him or her. This requires time and dedication to this course. Yes, I understand we need to make money. However, one of the parents should have the time for the children. If the father is busy, the wife should be there for them and vice versa. So, how do we help them? One of the key strategies to do well in an examination is called practice examination. Practice exams. I have taught this strategy to many children and they've made a remarkable success with the strategy. When you hear about children that make straight A's in their examination, you wonder if they don't make mistakes at all for them to be able to make straight A's in all their papers. Well, the truth is that they make mistakes, but not at the exam hall. They usually make their mistakes while practicing, so that when they see similar questions that they have practiced in their exams, they know the pitfall and the errors to be aware of. So, for a child to do well in an exam, it shouldn't be at the exam hall that it will be seeing the question for the first time. He needed to have practiced similar questions on his own before. The truth is that examiners usually repeat questions. If your child has practiced enough, it is a similar question that he has practiced before that the examiner will bring out in the exams. So. How do we help them to do practice exams? Very simple. All we need to do to help them is to create time to join them in their practice exams. Let your child bring out his notes. You should study a topic that they have done during the term. You should help him or her set questions from his notes. You will hold on to the note and ask questions from the note and let him or her try to answer the question. Ensure that he uses the right keywords. 
It's important to also ensure that the process is fun and exciting. Celebrate and praise him when he gets it right. Don't judge him. Don't criticize him. Don't wear a disappointing countenance when he performs below your expectation. See, one thing about children is this. They can see your disappointment from your face. So, be careful. Otherwise, they won't want you to help them again. If he doesn't explain it well to your satisfaction, try to explain it to him the best way you understand it. If you don't understand the topic too, both of you should go to the YouTube and watch a video on the topic and repeat the process again. And if your child has a home lesson teacher, you need to ensure that practice exam is part of their curriculum. You see, I found out that most parents don't supervise what the home lesson teachers are doing with their children. They think that once they have engaged a home lesson teacher, they've played their own role. The home lesson teacher should also play his role. See, one thing I want you to know is this. No one can have a better interest in your child than you. So, try to be involved. It's not enough to cover out money every month to pay their home lesson teacher. You also need to be involved. This is how some parents have given their children home advantages over others. That is why their children outperform others. And I believe you can do this for your child as well. Remember, behind every successful child, there is a mother or a father or a teacher. I hope you will be the hero or the heroine behind your child's success. The examination is around the corner now. It's time to put this strategy to work. If you can do all of the things that I've mentioned in this video, I am sure your child performance will be far better this time. I look forward to hosting your child in our Learning Mastery Holiday program that comes up during their holiday. You can private chat me if you want your child to be part of this program. I want to say a big thank you to you for taking out time to watch this video. Thank you and God bless you.